Uh -huh. Yep. Hi, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to do my November wrap up video for all the books that I read in the month of November. I've got this stack here. So I read one, two, three, four, five, six books total. Let's talk about them. So I just recently finished this one. I actually just finished it yesterday. So this is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this was about a married couple named Lauren and Ryan. They were kind of having some issues in their marriage. They were just disagreeing on everything and arguing all the time. So they came up with this plan to take a break from each other for a year. It was a really interesting story. Could have gone so many different ways. A lot of family dynamics in this story and I just thought that was beautiful there were tearjerker moments in this book I gave it four out of five stars beautiful story so that's that after I do Taylor Jenkins read oh next up on the list for books I read in November is this one here twice in a blue moon by Christina Lauren this is a second chance romance and it's between two characters Sam and Tate. The beginning of the story takes place in London. That's where Sam and Tate meet when they are younger. And so Sam is the daughter of a really famous Hollywood movie star and they're kind of estranged. They don't have the best relationship. Sam and Tate eventually come back into each other's lives when they are older and it's a very very beautiful story. I gave this one a four out of five stars. Twice in a blue moon. The next book I have here that I read in November was In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. I usually love every one of her books that I read. They're always silly they also always have this cozy atmosphere. I read this book last year in December and I loved it, so I just wanted to read it again. I was just really in the mood for a cheesy little Christmas romance. And this was it. Hey, editing Jess here. <laughs> I just wanted to say really quickly, for some reason, when I was recording, talking about In the Holidays, it stopped and I lost the video. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and explain just a couple more things about the book because it kind of just cut off abruptly. It's a time loop element in this book. Time travel, time loop situation. And it's also a childhood friends to lovers romance trope, which I love so much. Gave it a five out of five stars. That's it. We love Christina Lauren around here. Bye. I was really in a romance mood in November because we have yet another romance. This book surprised me. I'm so surprised by how much I loved this book. It was great. It is a lovers to enemies back to lovers storyline. Sarah Hogel's writing is fantastic. She is hilarious. Sometimes I'll find a book that I, you know, kind of giggle a little bit at. You know, I might like but this one was actually laugh out loud funny. The pettiness level is outrageous. The banter between the characters is just so funny. Love to hate, back to love. I wanna be her best friend. Next on the books that I read in November was this one, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. And as you can see, I enjoy this book a lot. This was actually my second time reading it this year. I already read it in February. So yeah, uh, it's a five out of five for me. This book is great. So it's a dark academia setting. It takes place between two different timelines. So our main character here, his name is Oliver, and we're following him through his present day time in prison and also his time at a very prestigious school uh, where he was in a Shakespeare program. And so a very, very tragic thing happened while he was a student here at the school. And so it's just flip-flopping between the different timelines and we're just trying to really figure out the truth of what actually happened. There's an amazing twist at the end. The characters at the school and the characters that they play coincide with each other so much just shines through in their actual personalities and the identities that they take on. There is a lot of dialogue between characters in this book where they speak um, in the Shakespearean language. They say a lot of 
passages from Shakespeare plays. Those parts, you know, if you're not a person that's really familiar with Shakespeare, I am not one of those people. It might, you know, go over your head a little bit. It definitely did with me, but it did not take away from the storyline at all. I also think that was done on purpose to show how pretentious these characters are in this dark academia setting. I think that's kind of the point. The very last book I read in November is this one, Heart of the Raven Prince by Tessonia Odette. This is a fantasy. It is also a Cinderella retelling. I thought it was cute. I gave a three out of five stars. I might have given it four if I thought the romance in this was a little more believable. I just did not feel the chemistry between the two main characters. I want to read The Kiss of the Selkie next. It's also by Tessonia Odette and that is a Little Mermaid retelling. I will definitely come back with an update on that one when I finish it. Heart of the Raven Prince. That is it for my November wrap up. I read four romance books. Technically this is a romance even though it's a fantasy. I guess five romances and one not, not a romance. Six books total. That is that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I